What up, YouTube? You can't stop trading and investing with your boy, James E. Uh, morning, morning, morning. I usually love Monday mornings, but today is a Tuesday morning, and I love Tuesday mornings. Uh, today, we're going to talk about OZSC, that news catalyst that popped this thing this morning. We're also going to talk about AITX, also the news catalyst that popped this thing this morning. But before I get into that, man, please click that like button. Please subscribe. It is very much appreciated. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy that likes to research and analyze anything I find interesting in the stock market. And I'd like to share that with anybody willing to listen. So that being said, let's just get right into it. Um, let's start off with OZSC. Made a beautiful 15% profit on OZSC. Anytime I make more than 10%, it's a blessing from God. All right. Um, so um, the news catalyst that I shared with you guys in the previous video, if you haven't watched it, please go and do so. Um, you know, was this right here. Um, Ozop Energy Systems announces new consultant engineer, Ian Graham. Um, if you don't know who Ian Graham is, here's a little rundown on the projects he's worked on. So he has worked for Tesla, which they hinted that, you know, this could potentially mean some kind of partnership with Tesla um, down the line. Um, you know, so we went over that news weekend. And uh, so, like I said, I have purchased 54,000 shares of OZSC um, and I had purchased it. Um, at the break of the 32, so roughly an average price of 32 cents. And then this morning, it just had a massive push up to the 30, the 39s. Um, and I exited in the 38s um, for a beautiful 15% profit. I had it in two accounts. Um, so this one was uh, so total, I wound up with a $2,600 profit. And again, guys, I talk about it all the time scaling a process understand your process understand what you could capture understand what you're comfortable with and once you get into the consistency of doing so you could scale up um literally reminder literally just literally about three four months ago or let's go wait we're in uh february so literally in november all i had was four thousand dollars in my account and uh you know and, and, and you can't make $2,600 profit on a $4,000 account, all right? So I scaled my process and, uh, you know, I continue to scale. So what does that mean? That means every time I take a profit, I add that and buy more shares for the next position. And then I can scale it again over and over and over, still capturing my 7 to 10%, 6 to 10% and, and moving forward. So made a beautiful, beautiful profit on this push um, this morning, um, almost fifteen hundred here and almost twelve hundred in the other account, um, which was beautiful. Um, that news catalyst actually provided it, uh, you know, a bigger boost than I actually anticipated. Because the reality of, I was thinking it was gonna, it was gonna give me a push of about six to ten percent, which is what I'm normally going for. Um, but it gave me a strong push, a, a strong push. Um, originally, right before the market, because I usually get up at six o'clock, give me a half hour to set up everything. Um, and so, uh, you know, I got up at six and I was up roughly about 6% profit. Um, you know, it was, it was gapping about 6%. So I was like, cool, I'm gonna grab my 6%. And then right when the market opened, this thing just shot up, um, which was beautiful. And it, you know, got me out near the top. Um, so that was nice. Um, so this is definitely still going to be on my radar because we are seeing this curl action. Same thing like you're seeing right here, curl. Um, so this is definitely staying on my radar because um, I love it when it dips, as you can see, dipped here. As you can see, look at how it's it's a similarity pattern, guys. That's all I'm looking for. Dips here, pops back up. 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 And now we're having another dip. What does that tell me? We might get that pop back up, guys. Um, and so, you know, a beautiful 15%. I love it every time I go over. Um, every time I go over... 10%, it is like a beautiful, beautiful day. You know, God just blessed me with an extra 5% on the day, which was beautiful. Um, and then now I want to get into AITX. AITX, I made a 9% profit on, took a smaller position, um, you know, almost a 10% profit. I was very close to a 10% profit, which again is at the height of what I'm looking to capture. I have no problem exiting anytime I'm in that 7 to 10% range. If I'm closer to the 10% range, I'm definitely getting out because that's a beautiful day. Um, so, you know, 
exited here um, with a, a little over $560 profit, which is like I said, nine to 10%. It's, it's still a process, guys. It's just maintaining my process, sticking to it, and I've been able to scale my account, uh, you know, over and over and over, and uh, you know, exactly, you know, add that to the pot. I'm up over three grand in one day, which is beautiful, guys. You know what I mean? And that's the whole point. The whole point to the stock market is finding a process that works sticking to your process and scaling that process because you know nine percent on a you know on a five or let's say you know ten percent on a five thousand dollar account that's five hundred dollars ten percent on a fifty thousand dollar account that's five grand in a day you you get what i'm saying and and that's where my mindset is i'm not worried about trying to capture as much profit as possible right now i want to get the biggest gain i want to get the one that's a home run that's gonna make me 300 400 percent that's nice good luck with your process in doing that um but is that scalable in the long run i've tried that it's not it, you might get lucky and profit profit a few times here and there but you're gonna get bit in the ass a lot as well because i've been through it um but to each his own man you know um I, I found a process that works for me and i continue to scale and uh you know literally for someone who uh you know really really uh got out of school like in the ninth grade you know what i mean and and someone that was doing uh dumb shit as a kid and uh you know never really had education never took education seriously um this i love understanding the psychology of money i love um understanding this whole game and the whole process of the stock market i love because you could scale exponentially um and and so you know I'm, it took me years to figure this shit out years and years of trial and error and now i'm consistently making thousands of dollars a day when i literally just had about four grand in my name just a few months ago uh, so, you know, this is the beauty of it. And once you understand the skill, it's a skill that'll stay with you for life. It's a process. That's all it is. Understand the process. Um, so made a nice almost 10% here. Same thing. If you guys watch my previous videos, if you haven't, um, you know, again, started to see some curl action. Um, I like seeing this little curl and it started pushing up towards the end of the day. So that told me we could have a pop. And then also, again, the news catalyst. Um, you know, I told you guys this thing also had a news catalyst that can potentially pop this thing in the morning and it did So you guys got to watch out for that as well because you know again, um, you know, nothing's certain nothing's a hundred percent So, you know, you you got to know all the variables to determine whether or not this is a good move or not And uh, so this this one same thing with OZSC had all the variables that said, okay, this thing can have a nice pop in the morning um, you know, so a nice a nine to ten percent pop this morning, and I was able to capture uh, in between nine to ten percent, which was beautiful. So, um, just a quick lesson, guys: stick to your process, man. Find a process, find something you're comfortable with, and scale it. Um, and that's what I've been doing. Um, you know, and and it continues to work in my favor. The green streak continues. Um, and it's just doing the same shit every day. You know, trying to capture my seven to ten percent and cutting my losses at two percent or less doing that same thing every day and just applying that to the patterns that I'm familiar with, applying that to, uh, you know, uh, my comfort zone. And, uh, you know, I'll be great in the long run. And that's the name of this game, man. You want to survive for the long run. I'm not here to make quick profit. I'm not here to, uh, you know, try to grab, uh, you know, or I'm not here to, uh, you know, hold and hope that I make hundreds of percent or double or triple my money in a single trade. I'm not here for that. I'm here to consistently capture a move and move on and capture my move. And now, so it's just like, so I already captured my move here. I'm going to sit on my hands until I see either, you know, because this also has a pattern. If you, if you notice, just like we talked about OZSC pops in the morning, drops, climbs back up, pops in the morning, drops, climbs back up, uh, pops right here, drops, climbs back up. And then same thing, drops again here, climbs back up, drops again here, climbs back up. So it's just a consistent pattern that I'm seeing. So now that it's dropping, I want to see where it's going to base at. And once I see that it's it's holding a base somewhere, then I'll probably repurchase this thing. Um, same thing with OZSC. Um, so that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think of my analysis. If you made it this far, please click that like button. Please subscribe. You can't stop mafias and mindset movement, meaning never stop yourself, never stop your progress, never stop your education. 
especially in finance having multiple streams of income is an amazing thing and the stock market is a place where you can do that so OZSC a beautiful 15% profit on a news catalyst um, AITX a beautiful 9% profit on a news catalyst those are always in my high range so that is always a great day I'll be sure to keep you guys updated as much as possible till next time I'm out peace